Hello, I'd like to just show you all these alternates I have made with this month's Paper Pumpkin Kit, uh, Sentimental Rose. Oh, it is such a gorgeous stamp set. I went nuts. Um, what I basically did was I cut all the fronts off of the cards, so I got like the white back and the, the colored fronts, like so like these all right so i cut them in half so i got the white piece that i sponged and made all of these cards out of and then these i'm going to show you a couple of little different ones but let me go through this like the the paper pumpkin kit has this gorgeous little acetate box with the belly band that you can put your note cards in i did make some that come in the kit that are in there and this was the ones that are actually in the kit they're beautiful but i i love the stamp set it's a distinctive stamp and the details in it are gorgeous you don't subscribe to paper pumpkin you really should i mean for around 20 dollars a month you can you get your stamp set you get all the products needed to make that month's kit which was um, all the note cards <clears throat> and envelopes and the instructions and um, it has on the back it has suggestions that you can go to um, Paper Pumpkin and find more ideas um, this is all the stuff in the kit coordinating colors uh, you have your little measure tape ruler on the here as well um, you can't beat it. It has your adhesives. It has your stamp spot. It has all that you would need to make this kit except for your block. You get a block in your first kit and you can use that for your next ones if you don't um, purchase Stampin' Up! products or you don't have any blocks. At least you'll have that one. So anyway, let me just um, go over them real quick. I just, uh, I'll just let you look. <laughs> all right there's one i'll do it this way and another well that one would open this way of course i stamped it inside too and that one so one two i did this on the gold um outlined card and here's the envelope so uh three all right here's another one four Five, and I did splotches on them with my aqua painter and I did it in um, Highland Heather ink and I just splattered them on there so I did the petal pink and the uh, daffodil delight or so saffron was a daffodil delight daffodil delight yes and I just put some uh, glitter enamel dots on there um, another one I frayed up the flax white whisper white flax ribbon uh, another one I did the background stamp on that this one I just sort of tied the string so it kind of looks and it's gathered here on that side this I used a grapefruit grove string these are just some extras I've had from other paper pumpkin kits or that I've had in my stash this is another one and I've got that on dimensionals and the envelope to match. Uh, it's the same thing, that one. And there's another one with this kit. So, I mean, that's a whole lot of cards that I have made with this gorgeous stamp. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 that's 13 right here and i have a bunch more that's 13 all right let me just show you these real quick i haven't mounted this one yet and this one i i did too and i splattered it with a wink of stella silver and you can see the silvery splatters in that one as well as the purple the highland heather this is one that came in a kit the mint macaron and so saffron i believe I made this one. I just stamped a gatefold card and I stamped off to do the inside so it's very light and faint. 
this one. I couldn't decide if I wanted it in the Floody Flamingo to make some cards out of, or if I wanted it in the Daffodil Delight. So I did it on both sides so I can choose which one I want. All right, so now I'm, I'm going to throw these aside now too. I'll finish these later. These are not what I'm going to work on to, right now. I just wanted to show you this. Okay, so I have, um, I used it in all of them because I like full size cards, which is your A2 size, eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. So this, I took the writing front and I sponged it in soft sea foam, petal pink and daffodil delight. Then I stamped it in black memento. I put a piece of the corrugated that I've cut down. Uh, I cut a bunch of them down. I have more like cut down to different things. And then I colored them. This would be your um, soft sea foam, your uh, petal pink, your highland heather. So I just colored them all because I like the pastel -y colors. All right, so this, and then I just took the black label. Um, um, I don't, don't, oh, it's the story label punch. And I uh, put the black behind it, cut it. So I just spread it out a little bit so you got black outline here. I stamped thank you on it and I'm going to put it right here. And I'll probably put it on dimensionals. So we can do that. So, one, two. Three, four. Alright. And let's put that here. Yeah, to the right. And now I'm just going to stick some um, little glitter enamel on here too. So I'll put pink and green and I'll put a light blue. Right there. So, oops, lost another one. No. And then I'm just going to uh, tape this on. I can find my tape. Of course, not I'm going to glue. Maybe. Where to put ya? There you are. I'd be quicker than trying to fight my glue. So we're just going to adhere this with snail. Right, and pop it on here. And I line it up so I've got even here, even here, and even there. And it should be even around my card, like so. There we go. And so there's another quick card. Right, but let me show you um, what I did. So I'll take the other writing one. And uh, a pink, petal pink. Right, I can move my label. And a sponge. And what I'll do is I'm just going to stick a scrap here. So I have oh, a gazillion pieces of scrap here. So I don't mess up another one too quickly. <laughs> Alright, so sponge that up, I mean soak it up with the petal pink, and then just come off your page and just circle, or come onto your, just to get a little hint of the color in here, and you can do it somewhere else too, so we'll come on this side now, down to the bottom. So there, I have two splotches of petal pink. Um, let's close that up. And then how about the green? So this is soft sea foam. Yeah, that's the color. So come off. Just put a bit of color on there. You want to still see some of the white. Yeah, I'm just going to do one little bit of green. And I've forgotten this one. All right. Should have done that. 
with the green. Uh, okay. Now I'm going to try a little bit of yellow. This is Daffodil Delight. No, it isn't. I'm sorry. It's so saffron. Mm. So just stick some colour on here. So you have a little bit of colour onto the writing. Right. And I'm going to use, yeah, I'll use the Black Memento. But I think this time I want to try and stamp off. So I'm using the actual stamp. See what it looks like stamped off. Because I thought the other one was quite dark. So one, two. Yeah, I think I'm going to stamp off a little bit so it's not quite as dark. Stamp off one time. I think my ink pad needs redoing. One, and we'll stamp over here on the pink. There we go. And again. And stamp off. And we'll do this side on the pink. There we go. I think that'll do. Now how about we do the leaf. I'm still going to do this in black too. You could do it in the green if you want. In the like soft sea foam. Uh, I'm just going to put it right here. Stamp off. And right there. And right here. That should be good. Right. So now all I'm going to do is choose one of my little um, things here. I want a thin or a thick. Yeah. Or do I want a purple? How about I do a Highland Heather one? Huh? Yeah. And then I could do maybe... Nah, I, I, I'll keep it to this. Because that is purple too. Yeah. How about I do a thick one? I just play around and put things all over. So there. Or put it in the center. Yep, let's do that. See if I can get glue on this. Oh yeah. Working, working. Usually it doesn't work when I want it to. Oh, I can move that now. So I don't have an ugly oh, mess looking at you. So I'm going to put this in the center. Right, like so. And then we just take that little excess and trim it off. Of course, I have a mess around me. There we go. So we just trim that off. Toss it in the bin. And in this, I'm just going to actually put right on there because this is thick. So I'm just going to glue again. I'm not going to use dimensionals on it. I'll add a little extra here in the center. So it'll really stick. All right. And then what you can do is you can back this with like any of the colors, black, um, so saffron, the um, soft sea foam, the petal pink, and then put it onto your card base. Uh, I think this is like too, too big, but you'll, you'll see the thing, like this is the petal pink, don't look at the bottom. So uh, that would be your petal pink, that's pretty. Or, uh, I don't have a piece of black. <laughs> this little piece of black. Oh, wrong one with the thing card. I threw it aside. <laughs> I do like it on the black. I really, really do. I like it on the black. It really makes it pop. Or, um, you could like sponge your edges and then just have a nice big border on, say, a, a card front. So, yeah, fold it in half. Put my scraps aside. I'm terrible for scraps. Crazy, crazy. And you can just put it on like so. 
but I like the uh, layer behind it. It just gives it that little bit more detail, like so, like the black around here. So I just wanted to show you that. I liked it better stamped off than I do black, black. But my granddaughter loved the black. So, ah, oh, there I was, stuck with the black. Now this one I'm probably going to do in, uh, let me show you. Uh, let's see if I can stamp this off here. Crumb cake. I like crumb cake on this um, brownish. Well, to me it looks brown. I think it's brown. I don't think it was black. Let's see. I threw my thing aside. Yeah. I'm going to do it brown on this. I like it. I like it. There we go. And then just do a leaf as well. I'll stamp off. No, don't want to stamp off. It's crumb cake. It's not that dark. So leaf there, and there, that'll do. And I think I might put a sentiment across the middle on that one. But you get the drift. I just like play around and I do all different ones. Um, you can splatter them um, with an aqua painter. Um, what you do for that is you just uh, say pick your color. So I'm going to like to say pick yellow. Let's see if I have an aqua painter handy. You got ink in oh, you got water in you. So you just take, squeeze your middle of your thing, or you can pop it onto a block. You can uh, take a block and then just put ink on it and get that off from there, from there, or you can do it on the inside. So I'm just gonna get this wet and then you just splatter. Do it again. You see it more um, from where I'm sitting, and you see it more with glitter, like the the Wink of Stella pens, like I have here, um, the gold. Here, let me show you that one. If I do it, squeeze. Oh shoot! So yep, squeeze it down. Get a great big huge blob. I didn't mean to do that, but you just splatter. Hit it off your finger or hit it off a pencil doesn't matter if I have big blobs it gives it character but you can see all the things in there so I, I love just splattering things um, so there you go there's another idea I just love playing so um isn't it lovely to just do what you love and share what you love by playing um, let me give you a quick reminder next month's kit is uh, Shelly Gardner's kit and she's the co-founder of Stampin' Up and she has she loves vintage so and this is going to be one of the cards in there it's a note card and uh, it's got beautiful little petal uh, roses I mean flowers and birds nests and the envelopes are pretty I believe there's 12 cards in in the kit but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous kit, and you need to purchase this by May 10th to get that kit. And it's a special, very special kit. See, get ready for next month's very special kit. And she helped the creators design this kit for her. So um, I hope you uh, subscribe um, to Paper Pumpkin. And if you go to my website, you can get more details on this, especially this. Um, Check out my website for other specials I have. If you place an order with me, I will send you a free um, PDF tutorial kit that I, or tutorial that I have in um, my website under that tab. I also offer a kit right now. I have a daisy wreath kit. And um, please click subscribe on my YouTube channel here. And if you, the bell comes up, uh, click the bell as well so you'll get notifications when I upload new content so that you'll know when I am 
sending you new stuff to look at. I appreciate you watching and if you don't have a demonstrator I would appreciate you choosing me and I would be honored to earn your business and if there's any way I can help you let me know and if you would need any um, catalogs or uh, have any questions I'm here for you um, just give me a holler send me a message all right well you have a great evening and thank you for watching bye bye